Welcome, this is Conrad, and today we are going to go over this machine, the 3D printer. We're going to cover the basics of its components and how it works, and later on in this video series we're going to show you how to design, what considerations you should take into designing for a 3D print, and then how to get it to print successfully. So stay tuned as we go over these details. It all begins here with the filament. This is 3mm filament, ABS plastic, and there are several different manufacturers. It goes for about $20 for a full reel, and this reel sits on top of a turntable that allows it to feed without much resistance into the printer to let it extrude the plastic to make the parts. Another important element of this printer is the case. Not a lot of printers have a case or the more expensive ones will come with a case but this one was made for this printer to help it print ABS plastic. Now ABS is very temperature sensitive and when there's a draft that goes into your print it allows the print to warp and warps off the bed causes a lot of problems so this printer is set up to print ABS plastic and as you can see with the temperature here it's actually a little above room temperature and it'll go up to about 40 degrees Celsius throughout a print and uh, with the heater, which is one of the switches up here, hasn't been installed yet though, the heater helps even further by uh, bringing the temperatures up to about 80 degrees Celsius, which is ideal to keep the print from warping at all. But as for the other switches here, we have a light that lets you see into the cabinet or the case, and we have a control panel that lets you choose the file to print, lets you uh, do preheating uh, operations, and moving the head around and things like that. There's a lot of options on there that you'll be using when you're using this printer. And we'll cover that in some later videos. Looking inside the cabinet, you can see more of the mechanical components that make up the 3D printer. Now first off, we have three axes. And these axes would be this nozzle, hot end, uh, extruder, there's a lot of names for it, but this is the X axis. this movement. The bed, heated bed, platform uh, is the Y axis, and then these two threaded rods here, which are controlled by stepper motors directly, are the Z. And each axis has a limit switch homing position. Those would be the Y limit switch right there. This would be the Z, and the Z one actually has an adjustable stop, which is to help adjust the the bed height and then the bed's limit switch you can't see from here, but that is the basics of, you know, it's a Cartesian style printer and that's how it, it works. The, the uh, filament we saw on the outside of the case goes through this and this tubing here and it feeds into a gear set powered by another stepper motor and that feeds the filament through at a controlled rate through to the hot end and the hot end is at a controlled temperature with this temperature probe here and a heater. And in this case, we're printing at 230 degrees Celsius. And uh, ABS requires like 230 to 240 Celsius to print. And then this bed actually is at 80 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. But those are required for this plastic to go through and melt and then stick to this platform. And you'll find that it's really crucial how it sticks, the first layer to whether the print is successful or not. I mean, if it doesn't stick to the first layer, there's nothing for the, the molten plastic to draw onto. I'm gonna go ahead and start a print here and you can see it in motion. So we're first off at Holmes, and it's got a little bit of a plastic coming out because it's hot and it's just kind of falling out through the nozzle. Oh, there we go. And there you go, you can see it printing. And what it's, it's drawing the first layer right here, and this is actually a raft. And because the gap height and the bed is clean enough, it's actually able to stick, though there are still some problems with this guy here, but basically, that's what it does. It sticks the first layer, and then once it's done drawing the first layer, it's going to increment up another layer, print that layer, and it can take a long time depending on how big the part is, but that is basically how a printer works. And 
like we discussed earlier with the cabinet, this material is really sensitive to temperature, so if I were to put a fan here and blow air into this, this layer would start lifting up because of the of it warping. Ideal temperature is going to be about 80 degrees Celsius in there for ABS, but uh, we bring it up to about 40 degrees Celsius during a, a print and it does just fine. Um, there's not too much else other than the fact that just about everything you see here is driven by a stepper motor. So you see this belt? That's the X axis, and that's the stepper motor right there. And the Y axis is also driven by a belt, and its stepper motor is hidden back there. And all controlled by a micro com uh, computer board, and basically it is just reading instructions right now. So if I'll aim downwards here. This is the control panel, and there's an SD there as well. And through the computer, after you've gone through SOLIDWORKS and you converted to an STL, brought it to Simplify 3D, sliced it, turned it into layers, and then turned that into G-code. The G-code is then loaded onto this SD card, and then this reads, and right now it's printing, so it wants me to do that control, but it goes down to the SD card, reads the G-code, and the G-code is literally telling it, all right, go in the X direction, go in the Y direction, go in the Z direction, and it's telling it navigationally how and how much extrusion to put out too. And then that is all it's really doing here. So not too difficult to understand. You just gotta keep a lot of things in mind when you're printing. So hopefully this has shed some light. Stay tuned for our next videos where we'll go over more considerations of when when you should print and what you should consider when you print and then of course how to do print. <laughs>